Young Jedi Adventures, Season 1, Episode 17, Thoughts. This episode is called Stuck in the Muck slash Junkyard Sleepover. Yeah, another quite good episode. Spoilers, potential spoilers for everything Star Wars leading up to and including this episode. Certainly there will be for this episode. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, the, the younglings and Nash land to deal with the distress call and yeah the moments that they see you know these are pirates they assume that they must be doing something wrong and it's only when Nash you know yeah Nash and and the the that one pirate you know when they come across each other they realize you know yeah, that's when they're ready to believe. And, yeah, you know, good message. You shouldn't believe the worst about people just because something looks bad. You know, if someone honestly tells you that the, the yeah, this is not what it looks like, yeah, you know, they might be telling the truth. And, yeah, uh, because Kai is so worried about being late for the the tour, you know, he, he does that thing, you know, there's that saying, doing it right is better than doing it twice, and he fails at that. And I like the, you know, at least it can't get any worse. Oh, look, it got worse. Very cool creature. And, yeah, you know, the... the they they get past the the creature not through violence but by luring it you know it it's hungry it wants food you know it can't tell that the ship is probably not going to provide very much useful food for it so when there's a bunch of fruit on the ground yeah it goes for that instead <clears throat> and they all end up going on the tour and I, I like that the you know let's see is it Ma Master Estalamaru I think it was seeing on the the cast list here you know he's like well you know the helping yeah you know he finds the positive in the in the situation helping people in need makes you good Jedi and that brings us to the second half of the episode and let's see yeah they, they talk about you know no one has actually seen a gloomling but there are stories which yeah um, also good message for the kids you know there's not actually evidence of it but it's just oh you know I don't know there's there's stories we don't have anything to substantiate these claims yeah it's there's a pretty good chance it's just not true and you should investigate it and yeah another episode you know another story with a very scooby doo kind of feel to it love the dolly zoom always you know yeah i'll never turn down a dolly zoom and I quite like the line, you know, my junk, my perfectly arranged junk. And yeah, they finally catch it and it's just a droid and we get the explanation for why it was doing what it was doing. Which again, you know, yeah, if you're not... Like, the thing, you know, if stuff is like, you know, yes, sometimes it could be like, a burglar or or otherwise someone who could harm you but you know not yeah some some burglars are literally just trying to feed themselves and their families though but yeah um but if like stuff is disappearing and and there's something you know yeah it legit might just be someone who's trying to to ah, what's the word you know, someone who doesn't have a lot of means and are trying to, to make it. You know, this actually reminds me somewhat of the the two refugees in the um, 
in Resistance, Star Wars Resistance, the show. And yeah, they know, you know, there was nothing to fear all along. And, you know, we get the, the little ending tease of, you know, nubs. There's the, the thing where the, the hinges, like, let's see, I think it, like, opens and closes on its own. So it's like, oh, maybe there is something out there. And again, of course, you know, yeah, maybe there's a droid down there that's, you know, struggling in, in some way. And this is Star Wars. It's entirely possible that it's literally just an automatic bin. So, but yeah, um, don't really have anything else to say about this episode. They're they're continuing to to teach good messages, and yeah, they you know got a lot of stuff to to entertain the kids. <laughs>